As Lebanon hits a state of severe economic stress and the price of almost every good has soared beyond the affordability of many citizens, it is Hezbollah that has put forward the first step of a complete plan to save the economy. Lebanon must explore all options to rescue the country's economy. This is what Hezbollah leader Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah said last week while announcing a new front. This time, alongside facing Israel on the border with occupied Palestine and Takfiri terrorists in Syria, the resistance party Hezbollah has decided to be in the heart of Lebanon's agricultural and industrial battle. With more insistence on confronting the American financial blockade, Hezbollah Secretary General Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah stressed that the economic policies that had ruled Lebanon from the 90s led to the current crisis, which the U.S. is exploiting to starve the Lebanese and subjugate the country. We must all go back to being farmers, because when we eat what we grow, we will become a sovereign people. With these words, Sayyid Nasrullah began a lengthy explanation to clarify how the resistance will fight the battle of agriculture and industry. Touching upon the behavior of the U.S. Ambassador to Lebanon, Dorothy Shia, and her constant hostile rhetoric against the resistance, Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah described Shia as the military governor of Lebanon, lashing out at Washington's meddling in Lebanese internal affairs. Hezbollah Secretary General then addressed Chia saying, I advise the U.S. Ambassador not to give lectures on freedom, sovereignty, and human rights, for she doesn't have the right to do so. Your country has been funding and supporting the Israeli and Takfiri terror, so respect yourself and keep within limits. Nasrallah had already proposed to the Lebanese government to turn eastward to secure its basic needs without needing U.S. dollars, reiterating that China is also ready to invest in Lebanon. Sayyid Nasrallah then concluded his announcement by stressing that Lebanon's current crisis must not divert from supporting the Palestinian cause, especially now as the Zionist regime is planning to annex areas of the West Bank and Jordan Valley. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.